Hello everyone! Welcome back to It's Crochet O'Clock. My name is Stephanie and we do this live almost every Monday evening at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We missed last week, but that was a whole crazy fiasco. We'll talk about that later. Welcome, welcome, welcome everybody. Um, Jumanji, it's 2021. Jumanji to you. I refuse to say it. I don't want to jinx anything. Jumanji. <laughs> oh, so if this is your first time ever participating in a YouTube live, please remember that you must be logged into your YouTube account if you want to participate in the live chat that is going on. If you are watching the replay, obviously there won't be a live chat, but you can always leave us a message down below and, and we like to see messages. <laughs> also, if you're new and you're watching chat, um, we have what's known as the Three Musketeers here. They are locals regulars they have been here for quite some time but they're very very cheeky and if you say something and a pun can be made out of it one of those three is going to get it and that is freaky anthony and sue i see that freaky is already here so just don't want you to think that they're trolls they are not trolls they just like to have fun and they kind of make us laugh sometimes in in between there hello everybody everybody's starting to file in hello 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 I have my December net crate to unbox for you guys or will unbag for you guys um, it came the last week of December it came the day after I think um, of my last live and I was planning on opening it up for you guys last Monday but craziness ensued in my house and I couldn't go live so that was I'm so sorry but I'm going to open it up for you guys now I have no idea what's in the sucker thank you D for for she's over there mashing on the macros because she's awesome don't forget to give the video a thumbs up we are live and if you give a thumbs up that means that the algorithm will be more likely to share the live with other folks that are crafty that like to play around with yarn and we always always would love to welcome new people into the fold so that certainly helps everything out love the thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber although most of you guys probably are subscribers make sure that you hit the subscribe button yeah yeah <laughs> good afternoon from New Zealand hello 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 everybody's starting to come in we're gonna wait about two more minutes and then I will unbox this well not this month's last month's knit crate I don't know why they get to me so late such a bummer <laughs> hopefully things will start to get better with the postal service not sure when that's gonna happen but hopefully soon oh and there's Anthony musketeer number two we're only missing one we're in for a rowdy night y'all <laughs> oh everybody's saying hello to everybody sugar should be in suckers sugar is in suckers yeah, sugars and suckers. A nifty little bag here. Nifty little bag. Handle with hair. Squishy yarn inside. Ah! Morgan said I still don't have mine either. Well, you know, look. You're all the way in New Zealand. And if I remember correctly, the way that... Because Knit Crate... You just pay the, the, the flat fee. There's no extra shipping, and it's worldwide. So it doesn't matter if you're in New Zealand, if you're in the U.S., if you're in Peru, if you're in Germany. It doesn't matter. It's the price that it is is the price that it is, $25 a month. If you use the code below, um, crochet o'clock 20, then you'll get 20% off of your first month of Knit Crate. But there's no shipping added on to it. It's all inclusive. And they normally what they do is they ship out the ones that are overseas because they're based in Miami. They ship out the ones that are overseas first and then they send out everybody else's knit crates and then the influencers come last. It used to be that the influencers were first but then the pandemic kicked in and they moved things around a little bit, which is understandable because 
I don't pay for Knit Crate. They send this to me so I can show it to you guys. I'm very, very thankful. I think I'm going into my third year of being with Knit Crate. So they want to make sure that you guys that are paying for it can get it as soon as possible. And seeing as how I, I have good loops and I ship out packages almost every day, I know how stressful it is waiting on your package. It's just as stressful for us on the other side because once we release that package to the carrier, it's completely out of our hands. There's nothing we can do. There's nobody we can call. We just have to wait just like the rest of you guys. So it's stressful all the way around. So they've started shipping out first the ones that go overseas, then all of the paying customers, and then the influencers. So that's one of the reasons that I get it so late. I'm perfectly fine with it, perfectly fine with it. I would much rather you guys get out there. But Morgan, that's very sad that you still haven't gotten your um, your knit crate. Open the squish. Okay, fine. I'm opening the squish. My goodness. Uh, Freaky said, even before the pandemic, my knit crate came the first week of the next month. Now it's nearly a month later, but that's okay. Freaky, I know. I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on with your Black Friday package is the last package from that entire week of shipments that I sent out that hasn't been delivered. Ooh, there's fun stuff in here. Oh, there's new fun stuff in here. Let's see. We have squad goals. Squad Goals, December 2020. Oh, hello, Leanne and Anne. Hello. Oh, thank you. Considering all of your challenges as of late, you look beautiful. Why, thank you. Thank you. Oh, so, let's see what's going on here. One of the downsides, one of the changes that they made a couple weeks ago is that they're not sending out the booklets anymore that used to have the patterns in it. So you have to go online. There's um, In the membership crate, there are always two skeins of yarn unless it's an extremely high dollar um, skein of yarn and then we only get one. But I think in this is, like I said, I'm going into my third year of knit crate and I've only had that happen twice. We've only had two crates where we got one skein of, of yarn. Squash skulls, right? <laughs> so um, it, it used to come with all of the patterns. It would have um, two knitting patterns, two crochet patterns, and then you would also get the sock patterns from the sock crate as well. But now it's all digital and they're all doing it online. But now at least it's nifty that they put a little QR code on here for you to click on. But still, I still hate going to look for patterns. Let's see, what do we have? Hmm, let me flip this around for you guys. So this is what I got. It's very gray. It's showing very true to color on on the screen, let's see, 80% merino wool, 10% cashmere, 10% stellina. You can, you guys probably can't see all of the little sparklies, but there is quite a bit of sparkle in this. And this is the colorway roller skates. And you get two of them and it is 100 grams, 250 yards, 100 grams. So there's 500 yards, 200 grams total in this month's knit crate. Yay. What is this? What is this? Okay, that's cute. It's actually purple. It's showing up blue. There you go. Shows up better on the on the big screen. Yarn Squad. It's a project bag and it has a knitting needle and a crochet hook. Nifty. Nifty, nifty, nifty. How does this sucker work? All right, then. All right. Well, is this nifty? I guess. Stop. Go. Over. I've already broken it. I have already broken it. How do I? Lord have mercy. What do? Why do I do this to myself? Why, why, why do I do this to myself? No, no, just, just get back to the. Why? 
why did I do this? You know what? Just can you weasel through there for me? Oh, I don't know why I do this to myself. How did I manage to do that? And this one got through there. Come here. Mm. This is my life, you guys. This is this is how I it's a backpack. Yeah, okay. Well, it's a backpack that has uneven sides because I pulled the wrong way, apparently, and I cannot take it. Will you please? Thank you. Oh. All right. All right. Listen, all is well. This is okay. This is fine. This is all fine. It's cute. Is that all that's in the bag? Yes, I think that's all that's in the bag. This doesn't feel all bad. Normally, whenever there's Stellina in something, it I, it feels kind of scratchy to me. But this one doesn't feel all that scratchy to me at all. That's nice. And there's no nylon in it. I'm allergic to nylon, for those of you guys who, who do not know. So I am always happy. Sometimes I have a miss because nylon is in a lot of yarn, so sometimes I have a miss, but not this month. Oh, put this back in here. Don't want to lose that. Put that back in there. We're going to set that over there on that table over there. I could make that on my circuit. Yes, yes, you could. I'm jealous of you in your circuit. I want one really bad. Cricket, circuit, cricket, whatever it is. Mercy. Anywho, I'm happy with my knit crate this month. I like the bag. I like the yarn. Don't know what the patterns look like. Because, you know, that whole thing that's going on. Sally said cashmere would make it softer. Yes, yes it would. So, you guys, I'm going to show you guys something. I have a very big... Um, frogging project to do. I have been avoiding it for quite some time now. I started on a project in December, the beginning of December 2019, and the only um, people that I showed it to were the patrons. I got super, super excited about it. I got almost all the way finished with it, and um, well, no. I took it with me to Vogue Knitting Live in um, New York City in January, and some of the patrons actually came to that show, so they got to see it in person. And after after I came back from it, I started looking at it, and I decided that I wanted to make some structure changes to it. So I was almost finished with it. I was almost ready to start on the border and decided to make those changes. So I frogged it all, and then I started all the way back up. And then life happened and projects, you know, Jean Ann came into my, my brain, and then another project came into my brain, and then Russell had a project come into his brain, and then Amy's Embrace came into my brain, and it just kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed to the back burner. Well, I waited too long, I waited too long, <laughs> and um, about a month ago now, month and a half ago now, um, I was scrolling through Facebook, and I saw that somebody has released a pattern that is not exactly like mine, but it's so close to mine that I no longer feel comfortable with with going through it. So I waited too long to um, to go through it, to, to, to finish it, and to do it, which is a bummer because it's all written down. <laughs> I just needed to pass it over to Terry and let Terry do the typing up of it and um, after I got finished working up the body and, and designing the border. But uh, we're gonna frog it because it's too close. Oh, come here. But 
Um, I have been working on Tenna's Arabia pattern because my Crojo is just gone. It's just gone, 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 gone. So I've been working on that and I have, I feel like there's something clicking in, in my brain. And for those of you who do not know, whenever I frog projects, I do not waste the yarn. I reuse it. And there's a lot of yarn in this. So we're going to frog this back. This was my pattern. I really, really, really loved it. And like I said, somebody just released something that is very, very similar to it. It's not identical to mine, but it's very, very, it's too close for comfort. So unfortunately, like Jennifer's going to cry because when she saw this, she saw this um, in person in New York City and she fell in love with it too. And I loved it. Bonnie was there with us. Bonnie fell in love with it. I just waited too long and um, yeah, I just waited too long. So now we get to frog. We get to frog my blanket. <laughs> but it'll be okay. It'll be okay because, because that is the way, that is the way that it goes. So where, I have to find out where this is. Oh. Oh, that's the back of it. There. <laughs> Wait, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. They both look, both sides look so similar that it's, um, couldn't you keep it for yourself? No, 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 no. I, um, no, because this is a whole lot of yarn that, that needs to be a pattern. It, it needs to be something, and I don't ever keep anything for myself. I have the original um, Yaya's Hugs, and I have my tester for... Um, I have my tester for Arizona. That's it. Of all the crochet stuff that, that I do, that's it. It's all that I have. So, no, you guys stop trying to, to talk me out of this. It has taken me a really long time <laughs> to get myself to go in here. I thought it was going to be a baby. No, 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 not this one. Not this one. That one is already long gone. That one is very, very long gone. Snowball Express. No, not Snowball Express. This is Fusion. This is Eco Fusion. No, not Snowball Express. <laughs> the colors remind me of Daffodils D. That's because that is what it was designed to do. The name of this blanket was called Yaya's Memories. And there were three different colorways. And one was for a big daffodil plantation that's in my hometown. Most people, um, when they think of the Sea Islands, they think of cotton. When they think of South Carolina, they think of peaches, um, seafood, things like that. They don't normally think of daffodil farms, but we have two really, really large daffodil farms in my hometown. They're beautiful when they're in bloom. So this blanket was supposed to be for for that. I had a, another colorway that was for my um, my nanny's azaleas all growing up in my nanny's yard. She had so many, so many azaleas all over the place and she loved them. When I, after she passed away and I was going through her hurricane box and looking at her pictures there are so many pictures of my nanny standing in front of her azaleas. So that was the last, that, that was the second one. And then the third colorway was for the beaches of South Carolina. And it's not the beaches in South Carolina and most, most of the Atlantic coast are not 
the the crystal clear blue waters with white sandy beaches um, that that people see in the movies down in the Caribbean that's not what the beaches look like they're very very brown there's driftwood all over the place from the hurricanes the water is murky so it was going to be very much a realistic um, colorway which is now not going to be a thing so it will be um, this yarn will be something else will be something else and for those of you who do not understand my process who have not seen this happen <laughs> who are um, who are not okay right now listen this is me this happens okay Yaya's hugs went through like three redesigns a full complete um, frog several times I am on the back side I'm almost positive I'm on the back side let me flip this over Yaya's hugs went through went through s severe frogging Okay, so I, I realize that it's been a really long time since you guys have had to watch me do this. I broke these two nails since you guys have last seen me, and now I can't do anything. And I complain about frogging two rows. I take it back. Ah! <laughs> nah. Alright, where is... There's a darning needle right over here. What yarn did you use? This is EcoFusion. Let's not even talk about the border, <laughs> right? <laughs> Kim Kim has been here since the beginning. Kim has seen me do some... There's a couple people here tonight that, that are old school that have been here from the beginning. So, it um, th this is... This is nothing new, guys. I promise you this is... This is part of the process, and sometimes it happens. Come here. Oh, there's Pat. Hello, Pat. Welcome. Come here. I'm trying to frog because I am going to reuse this. Because it will turn into something. Eventually, it will turn into something. And it will be great. It will be beautiful. I really hate seeing you frog that blanket. Ah, oh, I know. I know. It was going to be wonderful. Okay, that's a standing crochet. That's definitely the back side of that. So it's this side. We gonna get this, you guys. We gonna get it. Maybe. Maybe if I can... Is this the bottom? No? This will go quickly if I can just get the daggum thing started. It's a good way to learn the anatomy of a stitch, you know. Come on. Um. Hello, Antoinette. Did you manage to dry out your nest? Listen, while I try to figure this out, how about we throw out some some entertainment for you guys? Because now that it's over, I can laugh about it. Which colors I'm inspired? Also, frogging can be quite liberating. Yes, it can. This is vanilla, sunglow, Bessie, willow, and olive. That's the colors here in EcoFusion, and it's so squishy. So su super, super squishy, but that's okay because I have something in mind. If I could just get these things to, to let go, can you please just let go? Uh. Uh. 
I just said, I think we should do a frog it or finish it in February. How many work in progresses does everybody have? We're not going to talk about that. That's like asking. That's, that's like looking at my skirt, Ida. <laughs> We're not going to talk about that. Ugh. Where? Why is this being so difficult? Just, just, I mean, I understand it, it, that it's traumatic for you, honey, but I'm not going to put you away for forever. Truly, I'm not. Aha! We have lift off. All right. So, what is, there was this much left see and this is this is how I am I don't like to to waste oh lord can we just can we not can we please can we not it's been a really long time since I picked since I picked this bag up like asking how many pairs of shoes you own huh I have too many works in progress. I need to sort through them. Ugh, it's crazy. So, anywho, last week on Monday, okay, I had full plans to set up. Um, I was going to go out. I was going to run my errands. I was going to get everything done. And then I was going to come back and get ready to go live with you guys. So I put in my laundry because I forget what was it, what was I doing last Sunday that I didn't do laundry last Sunday. It was with the patrons doing something and I forget what it was now. Anywho, I uh, oh. So I put my laundry in to wash, right? And I went to go and get dressed and from my toilet in in the front of the house in the bathroom I heard boom 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 boom. boom. What is that? So I go into the bathroom and the toilet bubbled a little bit and I went, um, that's not good, but then it stopped. So I thought to myself, all right, crazy old house. I hear you, fine. Went back to start getting dressed again. Then I heard and I went, oh no, what is happening? So I ran through the house and to go into my laundry room and then come through down into this area of the house where all of the yarny magic is, um, you have to step down two steps to get in there. And I came around the corner and I stopped and there was like an inch of water <laughs> all over the floor and there is a bathroom off of the laundry room as well. And there was water just everywhere. So the water was was starting to make its way into the second room of the studio. This is one room. There's another room that's directly that way. So I freaked out. I screamed. And I went scampering through the water to turn off the washing machine. Then I called Pat. No, I called the landlord. And then I called Pat, panicking. Pat um, was supposed to be going to a funeral, and she really wasn't comfortable with going because of all of the COVID stuff, but was feeling bad and felt like she needed to go. But then I call with an emergency, gave her the perfect reason to not go, and she was out the door with a big old shop vac coming towards me. Okay, So they couldn't fix the problem all that evening. By the time Pat got here, most of the water had gone somewhere. I don't know where it had gone, but it went somewhere, okay? I was not okay. Was not okay with the situation at all. So they left, and I really, really wanted to clean up everything because I don't sleep when my house is a mess. I, I don't sleep well at all. 
so I wanted to clean it up but I couldn't because they were coming back the next day to try and fix stuff and I didn't know what in Sam Hill was going to happen so it wouldn't have done me any good to clean because I would have had to have done it all over again the next day so I didn't sleep slept very very poorly the next day they come they're doing their stuff I had to call off from work obviously because my house had been flooded so telling the guy that I'm going to reflood the area with bleach water because I don't know where all that water went. I still have the shop vac. Pat left it. Still have the shop vac. I am going to flood the area and let it sit there for a little while with bleach because yuck. So I did that. He was all, in, you can't do that. Then the tiles are going to come up. Well, then I guess you're just going to have to come back and and do something with the tiles because yuck I'm, I'm not doing it so I did that I reflooded everything let it sit there sucked it all up with the shop vac mopped everything twice with bleach water and then because everything outside all of my access to water outside has been winterized I can't use it there's no there's no water outside so I think to myself okay fine I am going to um, I'm just gonna fill up my mop bucket with hot hot water and I'm gonna take it outside and I'm gonna clean out I'm gonna wash out the shop vac right meanwhile I had to move the washer and the dryer into the second part, second room of the studio to clean everything up to reflood to mop to do all of that after it dried I moved the washing machine and the dryer back into the laundry room by myself which is a feat because I, I don't do things like that but I had to desperate times call for desperate measures <sighs> So I'm, I'm, I'm on a mission to clean out the shop vac, right? Because I don't want to return it with yucky water in it because that's just poor form and I was raised better than that. So I get the top off of the shop vac, okay? And I'm walking through the laundry room to the back door when I am suddenly um, jerked because the cord had wrapped around my ankle and I did not realize it. So I almost killed myself and in the process I dropped the shop vac. All over my floor went the yucky water that I had vacuumed up. So I had to start the process all over again because this is my life and these are the things that happened to me. <laughs> it was a fiasco, you guys. I was not okay. I was not okay at all. I ate a whole tin of cookies that night. <laughs> a whole tin of cookies, almost a whole tin of cookies. Butter cookies, but still. I ate almost a whole, I was traumatized. Very much bad. Do you have drains in your laundry floor? No, no, I do not. <sighs> She's always depending on the kindness of strangers, but no strangers were around. I know, exactly. Well, you did say you was going to reflood the room, but did not say with what kind of liquid. L yes, I did. I specifically said with bleach water. <laughs> I was going to reflood everything with bleach water. Because yuck. Oh, man. It was, I can laugh about it now. Seriously, I can laugh about it now. But it, it was not funny at all. Hi, you're on candid camera, right? That's exactly how I felt. It really was. For truly, that is exactly how I felt. It was not okay. Oh, and I think, um, well, well, that was 2020 saying goodbye, and it cleared out all of the bad luck for 2021. I hope so. I really do. Because don't nobody want to mess with that stuff no more, you know? 
am. Where, where did. No drains in the floor yet. Listen, I rent. I do not own this house. If I owned this house, there would be a whole lot of different going on. Believe me. Come here. Come here. You can do it. Just let me in. Well, that's just silly not having a drain in your laundry floor. I know. I know. But listen, I didn't design the house, okay? Ugh. Oh, really? Must we go through this again? Are we going to have to deal with this? I don't wanna, I don't wanna. Seriously, where are you? <sighs> this blanket does not wanna be frogged at all. Not one little bit. Oh, I once managed a designer menswear store that had a flood. The restaurant and the unit above the store had a flood from their toilets. I arrived to work. Oh, poor thing. Laura Lee, it doesn't seem to want to be frogged. No, no, it does not. It is fighting me. Definitely does not want to be frogged. But I will persevere. Yes, I will. Because it must be done. It simply must. Come here. I might also be doing this from the wrong side again. Must be. Could quite possibly. I have a tendency to do that when things are straight. I have a tendency to try to frog the wrong end. <laughs> See? Lord, I need to put a stitch marker. Where are you? Come here. Come here. Let me put gonna put a stitch marker over here so I know that this is the side that that we're starting on. Can you get in there please? Gosh why is everything giving me troubles? Normally this is just a quick 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 but no not today. Oh wait here see I just tried to do it again so what caused the oh um tree roots Tree roots is what got it. Yeah. So it was, it was fun. I don't want to do it again though. I definitely do not want to do it again. Antoinette may not be in the Facebook group. I, I did post a, post an update in the in the Facebook group after they figured out what the actual problem was and and all of that to let everybody know that I was okay and most importantly all of the yarn was okay cuz was the first thing on a on a couple people's minds was oh no the yarn nope the yarn is fine i promise <laughs> y'all probably would not have heard from me if um If I would have left, because what I wanted to do was to just throw in my laundry and then zip out the door and go do my errands, if I had done that, I it would have been super, 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 super bad because that entire cycle of the washing machine would have gone through while I was not at home. So I'm so thankful that... 
it it didn't man somebody asked me earlier where my yarn winder was my yarn winder is in that room over there attached to a table I am going to ball all of this up and connect them all and then I will throw them into a bowl and I will wind them back into cakes <sighs> Forget the floor tiles, save the yarn. Exactly, exactly. Y'all would not have heard from me if it would have been coming towards the yarn because I would have been screaming. You, uh, you probably would have heard that. Some screeching coming from someplace that, that you didn't know where it was coming from. And it would have been me. It would have come from the general direction of New Mexico. It would have been the... Should make knots like that when making the pieces then frog with one pull. Yeah, that would have been great. Hello, Hazel. Welcome. Did the tree roots look something look like something from Stranger Things? Maybe you've unleashed hell to, a hail helm too. 2020 strikes again. Yeah, I don't know what they look like because I was too busy trying to keep them. Well, Pat was trying to. Pat was doing a very good job of keeping me calm because I was not so calm when she got here because there was yuck going all over my house. So she stayed un until it was clear that they were not going to be able to finish that day for moral support. Because <laughs> I, was, I, I was a basket case, y'all. It was not okay. I didn't see it. I let them do their thing. I didn't want to see it. Ugh. I don't ever want to go through it again, though. I promise you that. Ever. Let's see, did any other crazy things happen to me? I don't... I don't know. I'm all off kilter. I'm all off kilter. Today was day one of... Well, yesterday was day one of being back to work for good loops and it was crazy hard for me to get back into the rhythm of things because it had been a week and a half off. I got the Jennifer insisted that I do no good loops work the entire time from Christmas Eve until yesterday. I was not allowed to do any good loops work at all. So it was really weird because I'd wake up and I had nothing to do in the mornings because Good Loops consumes all of my time in, in the mornings, and I had nothing to do in the mornings. <laughs> Pat Jacobs said she would throw her body down to save the yarn. Oh, you're hired. We'll be Pat 1 and Pat 2, because Pat Gordon is the one that comes over, and she comes over and she helps me with Good Loops inventory each month, and she helps me with other it's crochet o'clock things and and good loops things as as needed so pat one and pat two <laughs> um friends of mine in providence live downstairs from a crazy hoarder lady who let her toilet back up to the point where was you oh 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 that's not okay oh john that's not okay that's not okay that should have come with a warning label. Ha! Huh, look at that one. That one came out just fine. Just fine. Jennifer's going to kill me. <laughs> this was. Hello, Auntie Nan. <sighs> this is a lot of yarn. It's a lot of yarn. I think I have in total, because don't forget that this blanket was already almost finished once, and then I frogged it to do the redesign for structure purposes. So I think there was 12 or 14 balls of vanilla, and I think there was four, four each of the, the colors. I don't know. 
the bag is right out there that has the other pieces, the other balls of yarn in it. Oh. Everybody's saying hi to my Aunt G-Man. My Aunt G-Man. <sighs> there was something else that I wanted to tell you guys about. And I've forgotten. Are you frogging for moral reasons? Yes. I am frogging for moral reasons because it's just too close. It's too, too, too close and I just don't feel comfortable with it and I am not that person so I will make something else with it. Mm -hmm. Wanda, are you still at home? Oh, what was I doing? Oh, I was shopping with the patrons last Sunday. That's what I was doing. All of that stuff has started to come in, by the way, and patrons, if you haven't seen, if you haven't seen the picture that I posted on Patreon today, things are not going so well with the deliveries. <sighs> I was very, very, very unhappy. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> nothing like opening up a box that's supposed to have two containers of liquid in it and one of the containers the lid got completely crushed off broken off so there is literally a big old Ziploc bag full of liquid I mean they had the forethought to put it in a bag thank goodness but they put it in a box that was much bigger than the product with no no um, nothing in it to stabilize it to keep it from shuffling all around so it broke the lid off of one of them so I had to send them a message and was like hey so this is what happened and um, I could send it back to you and you could send me a new one but I don't think that you just want me to send you a box with a Ziploc bag full of liquid in it. So let me know what you want to do. <laughs> Tay said, I saw it and I cried for you. Yes. Yes. It was, it was crazy. And it was expensive. For what it was, for what it was, it was expensive. I think that's the most, that, that's the thing that, that makes me the crankiest about it. Oh no, why are you ripping it out? I am ripping it out because I started designing this um, December of 2019 and all kinds of things kept popping up and just a little bit ago, not too long ago, I saw across my Facebook feed that somebody just released a, a design that's super close to it. It's not exactly like mine, but it's close enough to make me uncomfortable. So I'm going to frog it and I will make something else with the yarn. I saw the bag and the bottles, but I didn't see what the what the product was. Nope, not hand soap, John. It was the other liquid item that I ordered, that we all ordered together. Yeah because she procrastinated until someone else made it. Yeah, that's true. That's exactly what happened. I procrastinated too long and somebody else released something super close to it. So, we frog. But that's okay. It has to happen. And everybody screamed like the first time that I completely frogged Yaya's hugs. I frogged it all back and everybody was like, no! And I went, it will be okay. It will be okay. Nobody believed me. Nobody believed me. Near the end. Whoa. And it came out better because I made the changes. 
So fear not, folks. Something beautiful will come out of it. I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. Come here. Maybe God has something else in, in, in mind for Yaya's memories. But you are not sitting right here. There you go. Is that olive and sage? No, it is olive and willow is what it is. Will you use the same colors in a different pattern, same vision picture? Yes. Yes, I already have something going on in, in my brain. If I get to the end of, of this, well, regardless, beforehand. Somebody like 15 minutes before one of the mods, 15 minutes before end, if I have not finished frogging this, which God willing I will be, um, remind me to show you the update on my Arabia. So I've been going through the Arabia and it has sparked a little bit of something inside me. So I'll try it. I'm going to do a swatch. Once I get all of this frogged, I'm going to do a swatch of something that is in my brain. Uh, my mom is still complaining because nephew stole back the Yaya's hugs blankets that she tried to take from him to decorate her couch. <laughs> I had so much running today I didn't get your gloves in the mail. We'll have to shoot for next weekend. No worries, Wanda. No worries at all. All of the stuff isn't here anyways. This goes quickly once you get to it. Oh. We'll see what happens. I'm kind of excited about it. I don't know if my Crojo is coming back. May or may not be. I don't know. But we'll see. Once I get these taken care of and I can do a little swatch, we can see if what's going on in my brain is actually going to translate to something because it doesn't always work that way, you know. Such a shame, because this was really going to be a pretty lap gown. There we go. There's that. And we frog. Ugh. Um, what did I miss? D said something. Oh, sounds like you need to make her her own Yaya's hugs. Oh, uh, Kirby, you can always do it like the original one. You remember what I made the original one out of. A little bit by a little bit, it's okay. I hope you're able to do these same colors in something new. I plan to. I understand why you're frogging, but my heart is breaking just a little watching you. Oh, Amanda. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's going to be just fine. I promise. God has a greater plan for this yarn. It's going to come. It will. Ugh. I finished the gift corner to corner baby blanket I was working on and told the kids when I was done and my daughter asked, did you finish my blanket yet? My queen cow. Ugh. So judged by that seven year old. Oh, bless her. 
bless her. I can send you the pattern which I need to send stuff as well for the mini yayas. Oh, <laughs> D, I think her, I think that would get her in trouble with the mini yaya. The mini yaya's itty bitty teeny weeny. Her mom would be like, "What is going on? It's tiny. It's like, it's like dish." dish towel like it it is little hello Veronica <laughs> um come here get 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 where come here all right listen we can be friends there we go yeah Would you perhaps leave enough to use as a scarf? Nope. Nope. It's going to be a blanket. I always feel bad when I pull yarn from inventory to make something because that's that's less yarn for you guys. Is that weird that I do that? I really do. I feel horrible when I pull yarn out of inventory. Because it never fails whenever I go to go pull yarn. Somebody will need like 30. <laughs> not really. But somebody will need like 12 of, of something. And it's not there because I had just pulled that yarn last the, the week before. So I try really, really hard not to pull yarn from inventory. I have to and this wants to be a blanket it really 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 are you still frogging yes Kim I'm still frogging I'm still frogging Veronica you walked into um, this is a project that I started in December of 2019 and other things kept popping up and taking precedence and somebody else released a pattern a couple weeks ago that is very similar to this. Not exactly like it, but it's too close for comfort. So I was too slow, and that's what happens. So I'm frogging it, and I will make something new. Hello, Carol. Welcome. Veronica needs 30. Yes, yes. Veronica's one of those ones. <laughs> I re reuse any yarn I frog. I'm too cheap to throw it out. I, I, I won't. How much more do you have left to do? I'm almost nauseous watching you. Oh, it's okay. You know, this... Like I said, when I, when I did the blanket the first time, I was almost finished with it. I was almost ready to start designing the border, and then I decided to do a structure change to it. So I frogged the entire blanket back, and restarted back up and I was only about a third of the way through getting the main body done so it's okay it's okay wait until I show you the shawl I made with Persian Ooh. I am excited I am excited I love seeing pictures of the stuff that you guys make with our yarn honestly I do Come here, get in there. We're on a roll now, guys. We're only an hour into it. Wonder if I can get this frogged. That's the goal. I really want to get this all frogged. And then all I have to do is wind it up on the yarn winder. Goodbye, Sally. But you're frogging on camera and now I feel sick. <laughs> It's not like I didn't give you guys warning. I gave you guys plenty of warning. I posted it on the notice. You guys had at least, you know, I, I posted it 50 minutes before the live, told you that I was going to be doing a massive frog. I mean, I, I, I gave you guys warning. I did. 
I'm not making anything, Lilies. I'm frogging something. My arm might hurt tomorrow. It might be a thing. Mercy, the precious. It's going to be okay. I promise you guys, it is going to be okay. You remember these feelings. You remember these feelings. It's going to come out gloriously. I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. It's going to be okay. This is part of creativity. This is something that happens. Uh, Freaky said, I did not understand that last post, so reposting. I read that as, I don't understand that post, so reporting. And I was like, oh no, let's not start that on YouTube too. Because, <laughs> man, do my admins have to deal with enough posts getting reported in the crochet group. On Facebook. Oh. I think we all, I think we had a year's warning about this. Well, the patrons did. The patrons probably, the, the old school patrons, when I first came out with this, um, or when this idea first came to my brain, I was so super stoked about it. Super, super, super stoked about it. And it was all that I could talk about for for weeks, and then it just kind of went to the side, like I said, because I had all of those other things pop up that that took precedence. So the patrons that have been with me from the beginning, I'm sure they all knew that this was coming. Honestly, it's like every other live. Kim, that's not true. <laughs> makes a Cairo appointment for Frogger's arm, right? <sighs> and Dee's right. I did say a few weeks back that I was going to be frogging this. Thank you, DB. Thank you reminding all of you guys so I gave you guys plenty of warning plenty of warning about this Lily's getting her yarn winder tomorrow Woo! Nyasha said it sat way too long it did sat way too long I understand I made a sweater jacket and I thought I would love it when it was done. I hated it and frogged the whole thing, ended up making a blanket with the yarn. Hey, listen, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it just happens. It's just the way that it goes. It'll be okay. It will all be okay. It's going to be glorious, hopefully. It may be true for Kim because she misses about every other life because her kids are, are out for summer break. Oh, that's true. That's very true. I pretty much figure you'll end up frogging every project, so I try not to get attached. <laughs> oh. Well, frogging is a thing with me. It is. Sometimes yarn knows what it wants to be. Yeah, sometimes it does. Other times it doesn't. Why are you frogging that? Because I waited too long to release the design and somebody released a design that is very, very similar to it. So because it, it's too close for comfort. So because of, of that, I am not going to release the pattern because it just it, it's close enough to make me uncomfortable. So I'm going to design something else with it, hopefully, if my Crojo comes back. It happens. Oh, Sonya's AirPods died. 
That's not okay. You need to figure out how to put a crawl in the bottom of the screen to explain in your lives either what you're making or what you're frogging. I used to do that, John, and it didn't make a difference. Because nobody ever read it. <laughs> but I used to. If you're averse to frogging, you've picked the wrong craft. Exactly. Yeah. I'm enjoying the color combination. I love the color combination. It makes me so, so, so happy. So incredibly happy. Dum, 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 dum. All right, back to Sunglow. We're getting it. I don't know if I'm gonna get all of this frogged by the time we're done here. <sighs> Come here. Come here. Oh, this one actually looks kind of loose. Yeah, I didn't even need it. There we go. I mean, okay, it's satisfying in a sad way to see you frogging. D is reminding everybody that, again, it's not a yaya's unless it's frogged at least three times. Oh, how true it is. It's a big old joke between the locals here, but it's the truth, unfortunately. It just happens. Kim is allergic to cleaning. Oof. Come, come, come here. Come here. There we go. Shh, John. <laughs> my son loves frogging my projects whenever I ask him to. He finds it very soothing. I find frogging soothing too. Oddly enough, even though most of the time I'm like, ugh, frogging doesn't really bother me. There are people that it bothers me not to frog, especially if the frog is needed for a mistake. No, no, it bothers me not to frog. There are some people out there that can just... Um, there are some people out there that can just see a mistake and, and, and just leave it and cruise on. I am not one of those people. But I will tell you that in the Arabia that I've been working on that I will show you guys later, um, I'm making not really, I'm making like an oversized um, hot pad. Making it out of cotton, gonna send it to my kid because she's redone all of the stuff in in her kitchen she's going to a beach theme so I made her those washcloths um, for Christmas and now I'm going to make her something just something pretty because Lord that child's got a lot of counter space she's got a lot of counter space so I'm gonna make her something pretty just to put out on the counter that she can also set um, hot things down on that it's not gonna worry about it getting destroyed that's what the Arabia is for um, when I was getting to the center of the pattern, I actually messed up on it and I didn't realize that I had messed up on it until like six rows later. I looked and I went, oh hey, you didn't do that. I, you guys, me, I left a mistake and I did not frog back because my mistake actually looks pretty stinking cool and I like it. <laughs> so I actually purposely for my second repeat of it, purposely put that mistake in there. One, so they match, but two, because I liked my mistake. Hmm. Ugh, Kim. <laughs> Alicia's trying to flog things. There's no flogging going on here.
Lily says, I hate frogging my work. Um, sometimes takes forever. That's why I'm getting a yarn winder. You should get one too. Very cheap on Amazon. I have a very, very, very lovely yarn winder. And you are going to learn very quickly, Lily, when you get your yarn winder, that it is not a magic press button for frogging. Um, it's very, you can't just stand there with your blanket and crank your yarn winder and have everything come out all lovely onto the ball winder. That's not how it works. It's a nightmare to try and do that, which is why I am doing this. I am wrapping them all up. I will throw them into a bowl. I will set the bowl on the table and then I will use my yarn winder to make cakes. You like some mistake. Who are you? Yeah. Hello, Loretta. Yes. Yes. The flooding in my house has been taken care of. It's all been, um, it's all been cleaned up. Thank you for asking. I'm okay. I wasn't, but I'm okay now. You rebel, you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I left a mistake. I'm so excited to show you guys. I'm going to show it to you guys. Are you guys familiar with Tenna's Arabia pattern? I'm sure you are. It's it, it's one of her... Uh, I don't want to say old patterns because it's not, it's not an old one because it's using her new technique of, of curving out mosaic. But it's not one of her new, new ones. Uh-oh. There we go. When frogging, you can fold the blanket in just the right way so you don't have to hold the yarn. Yeah. Yeah, you can, but I don't ever like to do anything the easy way. And plus, then you guys wouldn't be able to see it disappear little by little if I did that. You don't want that. You guys need to see all of the drama that is unfolding. You need it in your life. You really do. You know you do. Alright. Where is this? Oh. 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 Bazing! What are you frogging? It looks beautiful. Oh, it was something that I was designing that I'm not anymore. This is relaxing. I'm watching you listening and eating ice cream. See, some people feel that way. Some people like to watch frogging take place, massive frogging take place. Other people, it traumatizes them too much. <laughs> way too much. If you are one of the people that are traumatized by it, I apologize greatly for any inconvenience that my froggy may be causing you. You may want to come back next week. There's already somebody that's put a thumbs down on it because you're a miserable person. <laughs> but that's okay. Thumbs down, thumbs up, it's all interaction. Thanks for hitting one of the buttons while we're live because it brings more people to us. After you frog and make a ball, what's the purpose of winding it into a cake? Is it a tension thing? Um, I like center pull cakes, balls, because I'm winding them around. Um, it would be going from the outside, and then my ball would be thrashing all, the, all around. And I like to plop my cakes down and just have them stay in one place. So that's why I wind them back up into cakes. When my late husband was alive, he would fuss at me for frogging when I would see a mistake a couple rows back. So I got to where I would continue crocheting as soon as he... <laughs> yeah, no. Fuss at me all you want. I'm a frog. See what Kirby said. The ball is just to gather it without it getting tangled. Winding is for making it easier to work from in the cake. Yes. I'm getting the hiccups. Oh no. 
you know they make these things called yarn bowls. You know that I take my crochet everywhere with me, right? And that I'm not going to um, break out my yarn bowl at work. And I'm not going to break out my yarn bowl while I'm getting my oil changed, which I need to do, by the way. I've needed to do for weeks. They keep your balls from thrashing. Yes. Yes. Thrashing. I'm the person that starts at the outside. Yeah, not me. Not me. It is so satisfying when you get to the center and it's just a little, just a couple little wraps around and they're still sitting pretty all up. Oh, I love it. I really do. Hmm. <laughs> Some, some you can't do center pull on. Some balls, center pull is just not okay. I don't use those anymore, if I can help it. I haven't crocheted with anything except for nurturing fibers. Let's see, Christmas Day. Christmas Day a year ago was the last time I crocheted with anything that wasn't Nurturing Fibers yarn and all of Nurturing Fibers yarn comes from very 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 easy to find center pulls. There's one more gone. Come here. But once the cakes hollow out, they don't travel well. Yes, they do. It's fine. I have my methods. I have my methods. I don't tell you how to crochet. Well, I mean, sometimes I do. Sometimes I do. Sometimes I tell you exactly how to crochet. But that's my job, and that's why you come to me. You come to me because you want me to tell you. I'll rewind the outside to be the inside. Sometimes. Oh! Let's move this stitch marker. We've gotten to the stitch marker. Let us move this stitch marker down so I don't mess up and forget which side to. There we go. Alright, back on it. Mohair. Oof. Mohair. Jennifer loves to frog mohair. She gets so much pleasure from being one of the only people in the world that that can do it with ease. Goodbye, Aunt Jean Ann. I love you very much. That's a lot of yarn, you guys. Seriously. And I have two big old huge cakes of vanilla on my shelf out there in the other room. From the first frog. The very first frog. Speaking of center pull, I've noticed newer Red Hearts games stand up much better now, so it's satisfying to see them so well behaved when there's a huge hole through the center. <laughs> I don't know, it's been a really long time. It's been years since I've used Red Heart. Alright, remove that one. Come come hither. Come here. Man, breaking these two nails on my right hand is just messing me up, you guys. I can't do anything when my nails break. Those two right there, i got to cut down the other ones, too. I just feel like I've lost an arm. Come here. Oh, there we go. Come here. Stop it. Work with me. Come here, come here, 
Were you using paint box before you changed over to nurturing fibers? What did I just do? Um, yes. Yes, I was. But actually, the last project that I made in acrylic was made with Stylecraft. Stylecraft was the last yarn that I've used that has not been nurturing fibers. <sighs> Stylecraft Special DK is what it was. <laughs> John said I started hand winding my red heart into balls to make them more portable. I did notice my first ombre scheme for my queen had very good structural integrity <laughs> as it hollowed out though. I love that. It's very, very satisfying when that happens. Oh, for the other one. I was like, why do I have a random ball of cotton sitting there? But then I remembered it's for the blanket that is out in the living room. Hand winding because my winder isn't big enough to handle a red heart jumbo scheme. Ugh, that's a lot of yarn. That's a lot of yarn. This is a lot of yarn. A whole lot of yarn. But it's going to be okay. See how much quicker it goes. Uh oh. There we go. I would like to say almost, but we're not there yet. I have the Jumbo Stanwood Winder. I need to purchase a new Swift. And I cannot decide if I want to do an umbrella or if I want to do an Amish. I am still leaning more towards an Amish because most of the time I am by myself and you guys probably don't know this but I have T-Rex arms. My arms are very very short compared to what they should be. So I have um, I have always had issues with my umbrella swift of me trying to do everything that, that, that I need to do to make it easy for me to put the skeins of yarn onto the swift. So I'm leaning more towards Amish, but I still haven't decided yet. What is the difference? Um, so. An umbrella swift is the traditional swift, you know, that expands out and is elevated up. An Amish swift has four, it's very, very low profile, and it has four, it's like a cross, like this, and then there's pegs at the top, and on most of them you can move the pegs to for, for the sizing of your, your skein of yarn. And it's just low, so you just open up your skein of yarn and flop it over the top, make sure that it's around the pegs, and, and you go. Get the umbrella, it can double as a clothes drying rack. You goober. Amish takes up more table space. Yes. Yes, it does. But I think that for me, it will be better. I find the height of the umbrella works better for feeding the yarn into the winder. You know, um, Kelly said the same thing to me. 
um, yesterday when we were in the patron Zoom. We were talking about it yesterday, and Kelly said the same thing to me about um, the height works better for feeding it in. That's why I'm having second thoughts. I was all set to buy the Amish. All set to buy the Amish. But now I'm having second thoughts because of that. But I really do struggle personally. I, I really do struggle with the Umbrella Swifts. That's why I try really, really hard not to use it at all, if possible. Because I struggle with them. It may just be the Swift that I have because the one that I have isn't all that great of quality. So it may just be the Swift that I have. I don't know. I don't know. Putting the hank on is easy. It may be easy for you, but don't forget that just because something is easy for you doesn't mean that it's easy for everybody. I mean, there are some people out there that think that making a bullion stitch is easy. It ain't easy. <laughs> I just got my Knit Picks Trio Swift Winder and Bowl. So excited at last to have them. Oh, congratulations, Leanne. You need to post a picture so we can see them. I want to see them. Can you borrow an Amish? I don't know anybody around here where where I am that has any for me to try. I just like the idea of the ease for me, but the whole feeding thing, feeding into the yarn winder, yeah. All I know is that my husband does not work as well as a yarn swift. <laughs> oh, Ida. Can you just set the Amish on top of a box or something to elevate it? I mean, maybe. Maybe I could. Well, there goes that thinking, Ida. <laughs> oh, you've opened the hank, put one end of the loop around the swift, hold the other end with one hand. <sighs> Maybe we'll do that on a Zoom one day, Kim. I set up my Amish on my kitchen table and ball winder on the wooden TV tray a little lower than height. Ah! John Ida, is he Amish or just not swift? He's just not swift. <laughs> Oh, bless, bless his heart, poor guy. Ugh. This is like the never-ending frog, you guys. I feel like... The last time I did this, it went much quicker. I really do. I feel like it went much quicker. But it has been a year almost since I frogged it because I frogged the, the first one about two weeks after I got back from, from Vogue Knitting Live. That's when I frog that sucker. Come here. Oh, that arm. 
this bowl right here is getting heavy. I don't like the umbrella swift. It don't work right in the rain. You still get wet. Lord, time for me to go to bed. Good night, Russell. Thank you for hanging out with us. Look forward to seeing what you do with the frogged yarn. Me too. I hope it comes out okay. Subway chick must think my kids are super messy. She gave me an inch high stack of... Oh! They may be. Did you order a messy sandwich? I don't like... Oh, what was that? Last time you did this, it was quite a bit smaller. No, I don't think so. I don't think that it was... But it, it was the structure change is probably what it was. Which probably, yeah, which is what it was. Because if you remember, it was single strips and they were woven through. So it's probably the structure change that is making it like this. Meatballs for the big kid, that's why. That's why. Napkins, lots and lots of napkins with the messy sandwich. Come, come, come. Come over here. Get, get. I want to go to the fancy French subway. Kim just has a fancier word. Those Aussies. But that's okay. Because we have fancy words too that you just don't know about. Like orange and vehicle and syrup. <laughs> Surprise she didn't call it le metro. <laughs> It's also the fact that you are tying together the ends. It takes up precious frogging time. Yes. I tied the ends last time too. Because I've come across a, a couple while I've been in here. But like I said, it's the it's the structure change is what it was. Me not being French, I would never have thought of that. Napkins are fabric, serviettes are paper. Sorry, Kim, I disagree with you. Yes, all the fancy words. Not here, Kim, they're all like paper towels, right? See, now napkins to me are can be paper or they can be cloth, but they're the smaller ones. The paper that comes on the roll, that's a paper towel to me. See, here goes Amanda. Amanda's another Aussie. Maybe in fancy Aussie land there's a distinction. There must be. Must be. Not over here. We're not as fancy as you guys. Oh, freaky. You had to go there. You just had to go there.
Okay, Kim just sent me a picture of napkins. And it literally says white servettes on it. Truly and honest to goodness it does. <laughs> Speaking of paper towels, anyone ever try the bamboo towels that can be washed? No, not I. No, oh, that's a hanky. Exactly, DB. That's a hanky, freaky. I've never owned material napkins. They are for upper class, and besides, I ain't got time for the fuss. There's an army to feed. <laughs> oh. It is. Ugh. It is kind of better because you can wash them. Um, in 10 minutes, you will show us your work in progress. Yes, in 10 minutes, I will show you what has become of it, what is going on with it. Bessie. I love Bessie. Bessie is such a pretty color. Such a happy color. Cocktail napkins. There you go. Good night, Sonia. Come here. Come here. Oh. The uninteresting part of crochet. Washable, better for the environment, unless you live near trees. That's what I like about cloth napkins. Is that you can just throw them in the wash machine. Servettes are for ladies who lunch. That's what Antoinette says. Antoinette's another Aussie. And that's what she says. Aren't cocktail na napkins smaller than dining napkins? Yes. Yes, they are. So my work in progress is the flax sweater by 10 Can Knits. Apparently, I'm making it for Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, Ida. So sorry, Ida. That doesn't sound like fun. You poor thing. Hey. Come on. Speaking of when I knotted the colors back together, I'm very good at hiding knots in my work. But whenever you have to frog it, there we go. I'm so good at hiding them in my work that, that, that I get hung up on them if I have to frog. Your poor husband's such abuse. She's good to that man. I know she is. You do too, John. Oh, hang on, I got an itch on my back, oh, Whew. mercy. Y'all, I don't think this frogin is going to get finished. Servettes, servettes, here's another way, serviettes, serviettes?
Is that what you call it? Serviettes? Serviettes? Was I saying it wrong? I always say everything wrong. And then the Aussies get a kick at me. Come here. He went over the wrong thing. He has been wanting me to make him a sweater forever. I didn't realize he was a Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, why, a poor thing. Serviettes. Serviettes. I wonder why they're called serviettes. Okay, my arm needs a little break from that for a second. Is that southern twang we Carolinians have? Maybe. I would think all the hair would be a large clue. Ugh. I think my arm is done, guys. My arm is just plumb done. <sighs> They're in Boston, look fancy. <laughs> Subway giving out fancy paper napkins. I'm stopping there for the evening because it's so much. It's so, so, so much. So, show you my whip. Show you my whip. Once I find it. Oh, don't nod up on me. There we go. Here is my whip. That's what it looks like. Can you guys see the mistake? Do you know where it is? That's the whip. Oh, yeah, well, I guess I told you guys where it was. But these right here. When you come across to on the top, you're supposed to do a um, double crochet three together. And uh, I only did two instead of the three. And I didn't realize it until I was like way up here. And then I looked down and I went, eh, kind of like it. I'm just going to leave it. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of left it. No, Ida, these are a byproduct of doing this pattern. When I got to the top, I just started at row three or, or four over again. Maybe, I, I can't remember what row it was that, that I started over on, but I just started the pattern repeat again, and it naturally puts this in there. These colors are aqua and donkey. And this is in cotton. Again, because I want I want her to be able to set stuff down on it and not worry about it getting burnt. This is about how big it is. That's how it's looking. And then I'm I don't know what I'm gonna do yet for the border of it. Let me flip this around. This will be better. 
there. Only it's upside down. Of course it is. And the top is starting to fold down a little bit, but yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, I really like it. I like it a lot. I think she's going to to like it. It looks bigger on the table though. <laughs> This was one, two, three, four, five, six, six repeats of the um, Arabia One pattern because she has different ways that that you can do it. When you buy the pattern, she gives you instructions for doing it in the round, for doing it flat. Um, there's different designs that can go inside this right here. So there's different tables for putting different designs inside of it. So you can really customize it and, and make it make it your own, truly. There's lots and lots and lots of options in the pattern. But I've enjoyed it. Mostly I've enjoyed learning about the curves. You know, I because that's not typical for mosaic crochet. For mosaic crochet, everything is very, very blocky. And Tenna has started with the curving going on in, in her. So I've really enjoyed learning that and it sparked a little bit of something inside my brain. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not, but we will see. We will see. Look at the curves. I like it. I know, I know you would not, you wouldn't think that it was mosaic crochet, but it is. I really like it a lot. I'm excited to get it done and then throw the double border on it and um, get it shipped off. I only have, I think I only have like nine more rows before the main body is is finished and then I can start on figuring something out for a border. I don't know. That's it. That's what's going on with that. And of course, this is what mosaic crochet looks like on the back side, always. <sighs> That's the whip. I did one whole repeat of the pattern on Christmas Eve while I was at work. I was at work all alone. It was dead. There was nothing going on. So I sat there and I crocheted for almost the entire shift I sat there and crocheted so it took me about eight hours with interruptions to get through the first whole repeat of the pattern double knot the ends call it a day no I'm gonna put a double border on it because I'm fancy I'm fancy, fancy, fancy. We got about 10 more minutes, so I can get this. I can get this done. Cannot waste time. Once time is gone, you can't replace it. And I really like double borders. I think that they, um, I think that they, um, that they really finish off mosaic work very well. Wait. That's Bessie. We're not going for Bessie. We're going for Sunglow. That was almost bad. It was almost really bad. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Here we go. Almost. A 10 minute warning. Thank you. Oh, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it, Freaky. Here we go. It only took seven hours to find out. Don't you hate that? Let go. Be nice. 
You know, the only thing that I am upset about with frogging this is this was a whole lot of math, you guys. It was a whole lot of math. Mm. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. It'll be all right. My brain is clicking. I'm doing more math. I'm doing new math in my brain as I'm sitting here frogging this. Maybe my Crojo is coming back. You wasted time on math. Wow, I'd be crying if I'd done that. Yeah, there was a lot of math. You wouldn't think it because it doesn't look like it's all that complicated, but there was a lot of math in that. A whole lot of math. Oh, bye bye, freaky. See you next week. Dun, dun, dun. All right, sun glow. Oh, this thing. So, because we're within that time frame. If you guys are not part of the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group, you probably should be because the shenanigans continue there all week long. It's a great place to find us. Good Loops is coming back tomorrow. Jen and I, I think, I'm pretty sure. Good Loops, Jen and I will be live over on the Good Loops Facebook page at 1 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. Hopefully, me and Jen. If not, maybe just me. One of us will be back. I'm pretty sure that's when we're supposed to start back. Um, if you're not part of Patreon, that's where all kinds of cool things... like See, like I was working on this. Granted, it never came to fruition, but I was working on this. And they all get to see me brainstorming and see everything right at the beginning of it and me look at what I did wait no I hate it look at what I did to it <laughs> they get to see all of that stuff over on patreon plus all kinds of zoom meetings with me and then the super secret squirrel stuff so if you're not part of the it's crochet o'clock patrons you should consider joining consider signing up for really though look there Whew. all right now we're over to Bessie Stephanie of mercy um, see you all next week bye Morgan is my keyboard being ornery I saw the um, oh D double posted her macros, her macros have a mind of their own. If you're awake then, yes, that's true. That's very true. And I know that some people get freaked out about Zoom meetings and, and all of that, but you don't have to video chat. You don't have to do that. You can just get, there's a couple patrons that always keep their video off when they're in the Zoom meetings, and that's perfectly fine. If you're not comfortable with it, then you're not comfortable with it. You don't have to, but we laugh. We have a grand old time, and they get to see crazy things happen with me. Team sucks. Oh, we're not gonna talk about that. Super secret squirrel thing is cool. I can't wait. I know, I know, I know. What do we got? How much? How much longer do we have? What is the date today? So yesterday we have one, two weeks, two Sundays from now, John. That's it. God willing, if everything gets here on time. I hope it does. 
but we'll see. I'm waiting for one big, huge thing. I mean, there's two things that are definite must-haves. One of them is here. The other one, not so much. Hasn't even shipped yet. They printed a shipping label on the... When was it? They printed a shipping label on the 29th of December and still hasn't even been dropped off with FedEx yet. Still. Uh, not for some reason. I got switched to a different macro set. Oh, I don't know the way Kelly said hi, John, yesterday. She should just... <laughs> no. Kelly surprised me yesterday. It's nice to see Kelly in the patron um, Zoom meetings. She was going for, for a while, and Julie has been gone from us for for quite some time dealing with life and other things and Julie was there yesterday it was so nice to to see Julie and Nyasha used to work on Sundays so Nyasha was always there it didn't matter if I started at 8 o'clock in the morning and I finished at 10 o'clock it, it didn't matter the time frame Nyasha was always there but now Nyasha is off on Sundays and she's got a life to live out there so she <laughs> we don't ever see her I'm waiting on your present to get there oh Wanda is it close do you have tracking on it because I didn't I didn't see anything when when I was there today. I picked up everything that was that was there. Up, oh, Antoinette just became a new patron. Welcome to the craziness, Antoinette. There was what day was it? Was it the shopping day that that Amanda popped in? to the patron zoom meeting and normally it's bad for for the Aussies because it's it's Monday morning for for them so it's just a bad time you know Kim hardly ever gets to pop in because she's always running around crazy with her um with her kids on on Monday because of school and and it was odd for a man I was like well, what are you doing here <laughs> I hope you didn't take that the wrong way, Amanda. I didn't mean it that way. I was just shocked to get to see you there. I was very happy to see you. Now I'm home and I get busy. I know, Nyasha. I hate that. As soon as I see the label created, I want to see it shipped. I know. Um, I'm not going to repeat that, John. A little bit. I'm trying to get to the end of this row. I have one minute left before I have to go. I'm trying to get to the end of this row. Because I'm hungry, guys. Oh my goodness, Ida. <gasps> Everybody, we made it through an entire live without talking about food. Made it through an entire live without talking about food. How crazy is that? Listen, we have, have, have just broke records. We have had a historical evening. We have. And y'all just didn't realize it. Had an historic... Crazy. All right. It's time to go. I'm hungry. I would like to eat dinner. It's probably a good thing that we didn't talk about food at all. Because I'm really, really hungry and it just would have made it worse. So, thank you for hanging out with us, guys. I'm so happy to be back. Sorry that I missed last week. <sighs> Not okay. Don't forget that, that tomorrow, um, 1 p.m. Eastern Time, Jen and I will be over on the Good Loops Facebook page. If you're not part of the It's Crochet O'Clock Facebook group, you probably should think about doing that. There's always the patron stuff where we hang out and share super secret squirrel stuff, all of that. There's all kinds of ways to spend time with me if you get to missing me in between the Monday Night Lives. Okie dokie. Y'all have a great week. If I don't see you one of those ways. Bye.